Well, let's go ahead and take a look at some patterns using a Pico scope and an amp clamp instead of just a simple self-contained amp clamp. We'll do it at the bench first. So we'll go ahead and get our scope ready. And what we're gonna be looking for is a pattern that doesn't look like this. So a pattern that looks very choppy, very irregular, that's a bad thing. Now what kind of scope can you use? I mentioned Pico, that's what I've got. I don't have the most expensive scope in the world, maybe you don't either, but you may have something built into your scan tool or you may have something like that, just a little single channel scope, I've got a couple of those. The main thing is if you're not already current ramping and using a lab scope, time to get into it. This is not something that's going away. We're gonna be seeing lots of technologies gonna require in lab scopes as we go deeper and deeper into autonomous vehicles and all kinds of other new technologies. Now, as you saw on that last waveform, there was definitely the, uh, the classic plowed field type of a hump of patterns, but there was also a rhythmic variation that might make your eyebrow raise up a bit if you've had much experience at all current ramping fuel pumps. Well, a really sharp technician gave me a great diagnostic tip on working with Fords, and that is, if you can, go back to the vehicle somewhere in the rear where this is mounted. This is the fuel pump driver module shown in the schematic. And take some fused jumpers and basically get the power that provides power to run the fuel pump driver module and the ground that's gonna supply ground to the pump. Jump the power coming into the module to the power that would go out of module to the pump. Basically, you're wiring around the fuel pump driver module itself. And this, do the same thing with the ground. So you've got basically power and ground through fuses hooked up to the pump and the tank. In fact, in some cases, the connector that unplugs from the harness, the female terminals are situated in your pinout of the fuel pump driver module to where the grounds are right next to each other as are the input of power and the output to the, to the pump itself of power that are just the right amount of spacing to put a fuse right across two terminals and another two terminals for the ground right at the connector and you don't need jumper wires. And now you can take that inductive amp clamp and your lab scope and you can go around the wire a lot closer to the fuel pump itself and see if you have the same pattern. It's also gonna be a much more accurate pattern to look at the closer we get to the source of the noise or the rhythms of the signal, the better off we are at diagnosing it.